Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. I return to source. I return to sender all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Whatever the enemies have stolen from you, it is returned to you, being returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. And judgment is final. Well, for someone out there, be uh, you are being told to be vigilant, be mindful of some type of communication you may be receiving from possibly a king of wands that is being sent towards you by the head of a community or some feminine character that's telling him to come towards you. This is a setup, okay? They're going to send you some type of message that's going to seem like it's something positive. This is not a positive news. This is someone very sneaky. Um, yeah, it's not a positive news. This is something that's going to lead to some type of loss for you. Um, this could be something where it's that the universe is protecting you out of a, a specific community's energy. They, they don't have access to you. So what they're doing is sending someone towards you so that they can have access to you because there's something where these people possibly were harvesting off of your energy and the universe put a stop to it. This is you, right? Look, 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 look. This is you. Your star, and this is you far, far away from these people. Okay, so the universe is blocking these people out of your energy and it's causing them some type of loss as well. These are people that were able to harvest off of your energy before, but because they don't have access to you anymore, maybe they made some type of move that led to a loss for them. They don't have the ability to harvest off of you anymore so they're going back to the drawing board coming up with a new idea on how they can have access to you and this is by sending someone into your energy so that they can come and cause you some type of ending as well there is someone in here going through some type of ending in this community they could be very sick having a hard time recovering and because you are a healer they want your energy so that it can heal this person it's not going to happen this person is not going to be seeing you until they close their eyes take their last breath and go back home someone is coming in to gaslight you and play with your emotions okay so just be mindful this is someone you were possibly friends with in the past they're coming in to manipulate you um they are prepping everything or everything is already prepped for them to come in to carry out this plan so be vigilant is what your ancestors are telling you the universe is telling you you are being told to pay attention to your dreams the signs and symbols around you yeah listen it came out be vigilant of someone coming in your energy to give you a friendship offer it's not a genuine offer there's some type of ulterior motive to it to keep you trapped keep you stuck this could be a king of cups they're sending towards you to do this. So this is someone you're familiar with, okay? There could be a king of cups as well from your past that's looking for you, wants to come in and give you an offer. This is someone that was a disappointment to you in the past. So you don't want an offer from this person. I'm telling you, you don't want an offer from this person. They're going through some type of loss. Someone is going through a heavy loss, okay? So they're coming in to make you some type of offer because they feel that you are, <clears throat> excuse me, you all have some type of abundance coming in. So they want to attach themselves to you. They're coming in pretty quickly. They want to attach themselves to you. So when you do get a hold of this abundance, they will have some type of attachment or connection to it and to you. So they'll be set for life. It's not happening. It's a disappointment. Someone is coming in very fast. The person that's being sent to you and then your ex is looking for you as well uh, for some of you. So just thread with caution. You don't need to be around any of these people. I told you, you are receiving some type of abundance, some type of ace of pentacles from the most high. And these people are aware of it. This is something they've been trying to block for a long time. But it looks like you are still receiving it as you were always destined to receive it. And you're going to receive it um, in divine timing. So there's nothing they can really do to stop this. Your ex knows it. These people know it. You may have an emperor behind the scenes that may be traveling towards you. Someone may be sending him towards you. I don't know what this is. Yeah. Okay. Someone may be, someone's coming towards you, honey. Someone is coming towards you to cause stagnation. This is all they've been doing. This is all they've been doing. People want to cause you stagnation to prevent you from receiving 
this ace of pentacles okay they've been paying for hindrances to be caused in your life they don't want people seeing you but this is exactly what's going to happen some of you are going to be on the world stage it's just a lot of bitterness and the universe wants you to know that you are protected and they are taking care of this matter you just need to focus on your healing some of you could be traveling abroad or something like that but any action these people have been taking against you has led to nothing but conflict with them, for them, and amongst them. There's some type of loss these people are experiencing, possibly going through some type of tower. They may have orchestrated some type of plan that did not go accordingly. Maybe it was to bring you some type of legal issues or have you trapped in your mind. Something like that. Yeah, they're going through a tower. You're not going through a tower. They are the ones going through a tower. This is how it was always divinely orchestrated to be. There could have been some type of truth spoken, some type of clarity brought into a situation. Um, and this has led to some type of tower, something they were hiding and it's been, it has been exposed. I'm telling you, there was some type of illusion. These people have been monitoring you, monitoring you all in some way, shape or form. Yeah, monitoring an empress energy okay they've been trying to block all avenues for you with this uh excuse me to a source out here followed by this uh, uh, uh seven of cups they've been they've been blocking all avenues of resources and income for you they didn't want you seen being heard they didn't want you receiving any type of money anyone working with you any institution working with you so they've been working really hard to block your abundance, to restrict your uh, options and things like that. But look at that. This is you, the fool out here, limitless. Okay. They wanted to limit you, but you're out here limitless. Okay. Isn't that something? Isn't that pretty? Isn't that fantabulous? People going through all of that madness to cause you a lot of fender benders only for you to be out here speaking your truth, living in your truth with clarity, sharp as a two-edged sword, not taking nothing from anyone. Okay. So this is how it is. This is how it was always meant to be. Again, this freaking two of one is out here. So you will be receiving your offers, your opportunities. They know it. You know it. You are the high priestess. You already have foresight of what is going to take place, how this is going to play out. You are standing your ground sharp as always out here. These people could be envious of you because of your beauty whatever this is your charisma maybe they don't have charisma they don't understand how it is you have a new direction a new offer a new path because they feel like oh well we did everything to block you how is it that you're taking this path in life you shouldn't have any options and your ancestors are looking at looking at them like well, who the heck do you think you are you're playing with the wrong one you say you want to bum bum you want to play with the big boys <laughs> and you're playing with the big boys now what's that song you're playing with the big boys now you're playing with the big boys now this institution is going through some type of ending it's a lot of chaos this came out on sideways but i'm going to put it up right anyways this institution there's a lot of chaos going in here there could be a higher fin going through some type of ending out here okay yeah i said ending and the world car comes out this higher fin is going through some type of ending. They may want to have some type of closure with you. This could be a leader of a community, a religious community that wants to bring an ending to some type of karmic cycle that has been taking, uh, taking place. May want to give you some type of offer to bring balance into the situation. And his minions have been working to cause an ending block this plan from taking place, cause stagnations and things like that. Maybe he's fed up with this, with this community because they don't realize how worse they're making things by constantly interfering. I'm telling you, constantly interfering with you receiving this offer. They're making things worse for themselves and him. He's tired. This man is tired, 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 tired of these people. He's tired. It's like someone being by themselves behind a glass a glass window, glass door, whatever this is. And he's looking at the people that work for him. And he's just like, oh my gosh, they're all a lost cause. You, have you all watched the cartoon Moses? Uh, 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 was it Moses? No, Joseph, right? Joseph, uh, um, Lord, the Bible, my Bible story. Moses was the one whose mother put him in a basket and he floated down the river and the Egyptian priestess, a uh, priest, a uh, queen princess found him and took him to the uh, 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 palace, right? And was taking care of him. And he grew up to be uh, um, 
brothers with Remesis, right? There's a scene in there where the father, before he passed, he's looking at the both of them just causing mayhem in Egypt. And he's, there's a line where he says, why have the gods cursed me with such imbeciles? I mean, he, he was just being a father, but that's how this man is looking down at this community. He's like, why have the gods cursed me with such imbeciles? Sir, you have nobody to blame by yourself because you chose these people. You chose them. You chose them. I'm telling you, you chose them. Anyways, there's a decision that has been made. This community is under judgment. Yeah, the whole group of rock rats, imbeciles, are under judgment. And they don't realize every action they're taking is leading to more problems. I'm telling you. I'll tell you a joke on this channel, but I won't tell you a lie. Every action these people are taking to cause someone an ending is leading to nothing but more problems. It came out again. And this man, whoever this leader is, it could be a woman, he's not happy about it. It's causing him money. He may have some type of twisted mind where he thinks it's your fault. It's not your fault. It's his people causing him the problems. They won't leave you alone. They've made it their mission to destroy you. They've been able to destroy other people before, but they can't destroy you and never will be able to, but they want to keep trying. Make it make sense. So now he's blaming you for, your, for their problems when he knows because this is not someone stupid. A higher fan? Come on. A higher fan is equivalent to the high priestess. So this is someone very wise. He was coming out sideways. Maybe that was a clue that something is up. Something is going on upstairs. But he knows his people have problems. They don't have boundaries. They will do anything and everything. They're entitled. They're obnoxious. Maybe, not maybe, very vain. A lot of them don't have a lot of common sense. So he knows it's their business. They're the, one causing, they're the ones causing problems. But they want to blame you for the towers that they're experiencing. Mind you, they're the ones that pick wars with star seeds out here. They're, yeah, they're the ones that pick the battles, but now they're not happy at the outcome. What the heck do you think? Can you imagine going to school and punching someone and they just let it go every day? And then the one day they decide to react, they knock you the heck out with just one blow. You don't punch this person 10 times. And then the one day they decide to punch you back, you pass out. And then you want to wake up and cry wolf. What? You know the teachers don't care. Situations like that, teachers, they're a hood hood. And alert, alert. Oh, honey, they're, they're cheering you. They have that kid on behind the scenes. They're good job, Billy. But don't tell anyone I said good, uh, good job for standing up for yourself. That's what's going on. They started a battle. It has gotten out of hand. They're realizing they can defeat someone. They're trying to get you out of this energy, but you stay in this energy well, no matter what they do and it's bothering them. Some of them in here is a whole man. I don't know if it's a leader, someone that's higher ranking than them. A few females in here has them thinking that they can defeat you. He knows they can. He's making a joke out of them. That's how frivolous this community is. They play jokes on each other. There's a masculine in a community that has a couple of feminines, either one, two, or three feminines, battling a star for his or her gift, abilities. And he knows they don't stand a chance against you, but it's entertainment for him. It's entertainment. And he gets a good chuckle out of it. And they've been determined trying to destroy you. And he knew the whole time they didn't even stand a chance. I'm telling you, because this is you. You stand up for yourself. You protect yourself. And your ancestors are backing you up too. So the whole time he was doing it, it was for entertainment purposes. And they didn't know. Possibly a king of wands that had them doing this mess. The whole time. And he knew you were this. Come on. Can you believe that? Madness. Yeah, the whole time he knew. I'm telling you, the whole time... He knew, he knew, he was like, oh, I know they don't even stand a chance against her, but I'm going to let them have, I'm, I'm going to let them make a fool out of themselves. And he, I'm telling you, and he did, he had clarity the whole time. He knew the truth. He knew. He said, he's dumb, dumb A-S-S-E-S. They don't stand a chance against that girl or that boy. But you know what? I'm going to let them go on with it. I'm going to let them find out. And it was a tower. 
This whole community is going through towers after towers after towers after towers. And it's just the beginning. Just the beginning. They're going to send someone towards you. Oh, I said sent, and here goes the movement. They're going to send someone towards you to come in and give you an offer. They're going to seem that, oh, you know, we want, we, uh, we want, we want, we have a position we want to give you. Yeah, this is a position you should have had a long time ago, blah, 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 blah. It's a sneak attack. Don't take it. It's a sneak attack. There's an ulterior motive to it. You don't hurt these people, hurt and bruise these people's ego. So this is their last method of trying to destroy you and it's not going to work. They're rejected already. I'm telling you. The whole community is a hot mess. They know it ain't going to work. They're all burdened behind the scenes. They're going through karma, 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 more karma. Every day they wake up, it's a new problem. I'm telling you. Every day they wake up, they go to sleep like this. They say, I, what the heck is going to happen when I wake up in the morning? Man, I don't even want to wake up tomorrow because I don't know what's going to happen. A tower when they wake up. Some of them may be trying to take melatonin and things like that. The melatonin is not melatonin anymore. It's not melatonin anymore. Correction. It's not working anymore. Because they're so burdened. It said it's missing the spot. It said, come on. I, I need to go to sleep. Uh-uh. Melatonin said, no, 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 no. I need you to, 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 to figure this out right here. Why were you coming after that person? We told you that that's their ancestors talking to them through the melatonin, folks. Why were you coming after that person? We told you not to. We told you, oh, respect your elders. I'm telling you, respect your elders. That's what they don't want to hear. Some of these people, they look at you, oh, they say, oh, they're young. They're naive. This is a whole community looking at you like this. And their ancestors told them, hey, before you take action, think about it. Respect your elders, your into spirituality. That's someone that's high ranking than you. You don't stand a chance. Okay. Their ancestors move a little different than ours. You, I'm telling you, their ancestors move a little different than ours. You don't want to fool around with them. Someone's ego got the best of them. He thought he could do it. She thought she could do it. I said he and the emperor came out. So an emperor in here thought they could take you out because of their age. And he's having to move on. Okay, he's having to move on because this here with these star seeds here, sir, th 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 those ain't the problems you want. Yeah, I'm telling you, sharp as a two edged sword, know what action they're taking before they even take it ahead of time. That's crazy, and they're still out here trying to play with you. You got your sword pulled out at these people, taking on your masculine and feminine energy at the right time because you already know they ain't up to nothing but BS. And they're defeated already before they even take action. These people feel entitled. I'm telling you, they're defeated before they even take action. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you all, past, present, and future, are dismantled. They are defeated. Judgment is freaking final. You will receive your abundance in life. Whether it's love, whether it's finances, inheritances, whatever it is, you're going to receive every bit of it and then some more for your hard work. Collateral damages. Remember, that's what we call it here. Okay? And this is their future out in the cold. Poverty is the road that lies ahead. I remember when I had my TikTok before people went in there messing with it. I made a prediction on their fall community. I told them. I knew they were watching. I said poverty is, I told them a kingdom will fall, but first calamities. Yeah, but first calamities. And maybe this is this community, calamities. The calamities have started. They didn't listen. They, they didn't want to believe it. Here it is. Here we are. Here we is. Here we are. Yeah, the angels are here. To bring balance into the situation. The angels are here. I don't know what you all thought you were going to get away with. Nothing. Nothing. There we go. They're going to send someone towards you. Because they think you and them. You know. That's your soul twin. That's your twin flame. Your soulmate. She'll listen to you. He'll listen to you. Go and talk to them. You're looking at us. Uh, sir, I don't care about none of that stuff you have to say. You all have a higher calling with someone new right there.
You're going to get a good message, new, a positive message, good news from someone else that's going to help you put an end to this freaking chapter of karmics not knowing their place. They hate when they hear that. The heck do they mean we don't know our place? The heck do you mean by that? See, that's the stuff I be talking about. They're disrespectful. They don't have any respect for our communities. No, you don't have any respect for your communities because you're the one that went picking a fight, trying to compete where you don't compare. You're in the dark. They're in the light. Why are you in their energy? Oh, I'm sorry. You're not able to heal yourselves. I'm sorry. You ever notice that y'all need us, but we don't need y'all? You ever thought of that? Mm, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. A victory for you, collective. Just as I had said. Oh, look at that. Yep, you all uh, might want to be practical. Oh, the leader is being practical now. Oh, he's being practical now because he's going through disappointments after disappointments after disappointments. He's being practical now. He said, uh-uh. Listen, we need to get back to the drawing board because this year it ain't working out. It is not working out. We're losing money. Oh, uh, yeah, we're losing money. Your ancestors have made judgment that you are going to be receiving your abundance, your inheritance. There's a woman under judgment, too, in this community. Absolutely under judgment. Losing everything. Queen of Pentacles. She's losing everything. Head of a poverty. The road ahead of you is quite difficult, dear. Collective, you're being told to push forward. Yeah. The road ahead of you, darling. Queen of Pentacles in that karmic community. Yeah. You should have went within before you took your last action. Towers. More towers to come for you. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. This is your path, your destination. Look at you. All stuck in your mind. Can't get out of your mind. Feeling to see things from a higher perspective. Hanging yourself every day you wake up because of the choices you're making. At this point, you don't even care how your choices affect the community members. You just want to make sure that you get your way. So you take impulsive action every day. Collective, there's someone advocating for you behind the scenes. You don't know who this person is. You don't know who it is. That's, uh, 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 you may be aware of them from the past, but you don't know that they're the ones taking action for you. Okay? And it's causing some type of distress for people behind the scenes. Maybe they know, they don't know. But they just know intuitively that someone is balancing things out. And it's causing a lot of emotions behind the scenes. Yeah, it's causing a lot of emotions behind the scenes. These people, it's not looking pretty for them. This is what they were intending for you. This is what's up ahead of them. I thought I should bring it closer so they can see. Because you know they be watching too. They be watching too. Hi, everybody. How you doing? How you doing? Like, like Miss Wendy says, how you doing? You got someone out here that want to pick a fight with you because of you being you. They can't be you. Yeah, I'm telling you. They can't be you, so they want to fight you. Want to prove that they're better at being you than you are or You are at being you. Make it make sense. See, I can't even get it out because that's how dumb it sounds. I want to prove that I'm better than, better than her at being her. I'm a better empress. Why don't you be your own empress? Oh, I'm sorry. You don't have any of those characteristics because you're too busy, spread, busy spreading your legs far and wide for everything that jiggles. Anything. Anything. Listen. Anything. But there's justice in this situation, though. Okay? You all have legal issues coming in. Legalities. The same legal issues you were trying to bring towards someone, that's what's coming for you. That's what's coming for you. Endings. Some of these people feel invincible because they're attached or associated with an institution. Some people don't sold their soul so long ago. Their souls is it's not even like wanting to be associated with them. It's like they're having an out of body uh, uh, experience every day of their life because there's a disconnect between them and their soul. The soul said, I'm tired. I just want to go back home. I'm telling you. It's an out-of-body uh, experience between them and their soul. The soul don't want to be part of this madness, but the human desire is too strong. So every day they wake up in this madness, 
And their soul was like, I just want to get away. I want to go back home and get some rest. Can won't you take a new path? Won't you go within and think about this? You're headed for a destructive path. Yeah. Do some self-actualization, please. Someone's soul is begging. Like begging. Oh my gosh. Their soul is begging for a rebirth. It's like everything this person does. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you. Begging for a rebirth. Begging for an ending so they can get out of this freaking realm. Because the person, the vessel that they are in is too stupid. Their vessel is too stupid. They wake up and make poor decisions every day. All they plan is to end other people. And there's a queen of wands. I'm telling you, all they do is plan to end people, compete with other people. There's a queen of wands behind the scenes that's losing her mind because a man is leaving her. And she found out somehow that he's interested in a star seed. And she is, oh my gosh, this woman is crazy. She is crazy. She's out here stalking another woman. Forgetting to wash her ASS, forgetting to just do anything that has to do with taking care of yourself. That man says she ain't good for nothing but spreading her. You know what? I, I'm not even going to finish it. That's Yeah, I'm telling you. She's not good for nothing but spreading. East and West. That's all she's good for. The relationship is not progressing. It's not going in. I'm telling you, it's not progressing. It's a failure. So he's trying to get away from her. It's a failure. She knows it. He knows it. I said queen of wands. There's a queen of wands out here. Uh, this man is leaving you, dear. I don't care what you do. Today, tomorrow, day after tomorrow, whether it's a year from now, he's still leaving. He ain't staying. And she came back out again. Split the deck again. She came back out. You're going through an ending. This is the one that gets online to watch all the terror videos so she can stay ahead. So she can stay ahead. She didn't, she wasn't able to stay ahead apparently because he's still leaving. I don't care what you do. If someone is meant to leave, they're going to leave. They're going to leave. These people are trying to bring problems in to a queen of pentacles. You, you all need to sit down and have server seats. How do you pick fights with people and then you lose the fight and then you want to act like you're the ones having problems? You want to play victim. That's not how that works. That is not your line, like Kevin Hart says. That is not your line. You're not the victim. You are not the victim. I'm telling you, Tower, Queen of Pentacles, this is you again. Another Tower coming for you. Tower. Another tower coming for you. And it's going to keep coming and keep coming until you learn to leave someone alone. The little bit of money you had, I told you, you should have hold, held on to it. Apparently you didn't. Now everything is being taken away. Everything is being taken away. Ain't nothing being left behind. Source that no penny shall be left behind. No coins should be left behind. I'm telling you. You're being excommunicated from this uh, community. You're losing a job, losing your finances. You're overindulged in something. You're immature as heck. You're being rejected by your own community. Being rejected. You are being rejected. Oh, yeah, you're being rejected. They're done. This is how it was always going to go. You got to leave. You got to leave. Everyone is turning their back on you. Backs on you. You got to leave. Yeah. There's no victory for you. In case you were wondering. Yeah, honey. No victory for you. Okay? There is no victory for you. Look at that. You need to cut your losses and move on. I've been told you this. You be watching but not paying attention. You'll be watching to see how you can block people. You're not getting the right information. We've been told you on this channel. Cut your losses and move on. Stop paying to have someone block. 
stop paying to hinder other people. You didn't listen. Now you don't lost everything. You're having a hard time recovering. Are you sick? Yeah, I think you must be sick. You're not recovering. You are not recovering. You are not recovering. I told you. I've been told you a long, long time ago. You may be even passing away. I've been told you a long time ago. Cut your loss and move on. Beyond envy. This is why these people are coming after you all. It's because of envy. Beyond envy, fully immersed. They're immersed. In, good Lord have mercy. Swords be playing around. My ancestors, like, they, you know how sometimes you be expecting your ancestors to be a little bit more mature than you? Nah, these suckers be on my level with the pettiness. Like, they're on my level with the pettiness. When I was sitting down here to do my read, I said, that Queen of Wands, I was getting a download about her. I said, I'm not going to mention her because I'm pretty sure my ancestors don't want me, you know, talking about her. She came out in the reading. Like, they're like, nah, 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 we're going to address this. Okay. So that's where we are. Anyways, it says beyond envy. Cultivate mutual respect and banish toxic dynamics. Deep tox relationships. So anyone in your life that's not there genuinely, especially this karmic that you are dealing with, sir, this queen of wands that's holding on to you with her whole life, draining your life force and everybody else to keep you with her, you may want to let go. Fully immersed. Everything you want is all around you just waiting for you to see it. Stay in the flow. Okay, now. Anyways, thank you for watching, folks. i see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.